this is the reason why you really need to be rinsing, at least rinsing your quinoa before you use it. I have to say, this has got to be the foamiest, sudsiest quinoa I have ever come across. But the reason for all that foaming that you can see are actually the, uh, the natural chemicals that are coating the seeds. Um, these are anti-digestive um, chemicals and that sudsing effect um, is a, a lot of that is the actual, the, the natural saponins that are coating the seeds. And if you're not going to soak your quinoa, if you're not sort of committed enough um, to actually soak your quinoa, uh, rinse it and soak it before you use it, then please, please at least do this process of really rinsing it thoroughly under um, really fast water until you can see that that sudsing, that foaming effect is subsiding and then rinse it some more, just keep going because um, those saponins are, um, are actually what they use to um, foam shampoos, uh, liquid soaps and things like that so you know you wouldn't eat that stuff so please just make sure that you're being as safe as possible and getting the, the most nutrition out of this really nutritious food um, by actually getting rid of these anti-digestive natural chemicals that are on the outside of the seeds.